Hey, my name is Kelsey. I'm a genius here at United BMW. Today we're going to talk about the new 2019. So the model that we have today here is the 2019 330, also known by its chassis designation, the G20. This is available in rear wheel or all wheel drive. The rear wheel drive does 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds. All wheel drive does it in 5.3. The model that you see here is rear wheel drive. This one comes with 255 horsepower, 295 pounds feet of torque. The engine is a two liter four cylinder engine. The G20 comes in three new colors. Vermont bronze and Blue Ridge Mountain metallic are available on non M Sport models. The Portimao blue seen here named after the Portimao circuit in Portugal is available only on M Sport models. So in keeping with BMW's new design, the grills are slightly larger. The headlights also have more upgrades available to them. These ones are the highest upgrade with the BMW laser lights. There are eight different wheel options available. There are six 19 inch options, two 18 inch options. The Hoffmeister kink has been redesigned to be a part of the C pillar. And then it gives you this freestanding glass element that you see here. The gas sink is 15.6 gallons and of course premium only. The rear lights have been redesigned as well. It has a 3D element and it's made with darker glass. It gives the whole back end kind of a more aggressive uh, athletic stance. And then the trunk lid itself has a built-in lip there as well. Coming inside the vehicle, you can see that a lot of the elements from the brand new X5 have been integrated into the G20 as well. It's a little bright out, but there's a light carpet here, just like the new X5, as well as these LED light strips along here that'll flash to indicate when a door is left open or um, an incoming call, anything like that. The lock and unlock button has been moved back here behind the handle. Your seat memory seating has been moved up here. And then now you can open and close the trunk from inside. Moving over here, these seats have been redesigned. The light panel itself looks more like the new X5. So these are your fogs. This will turn it off. These are your parking lights, turning your lights on. And then these are your individual parking lights for either side, and then of course auto. This dial here is gonna adjust the brightness of your board. And then this is just a little compartment. The G20 also comes with gesture controls. So they're the same as our other models. To turn the volume up, do this. Turn the volume down, we're gonna do this. To go up a channel, we're gonna do that. To go down, we're gonna do this. This here is gonna mute and unmute the radio. And then this one here is programmable. So now it's set to navigate you home, but you can change it to a predetermined menu of other functions. So coming down here to your safety and climate control buttons, these are of course still your flashers. This is all of your active and intelligent safety features down here. This is how you adjust where the fan is blowing. This is gonna be your fan speed. These over here are gonna adjust the temperature of the fan. I'm turning it down and we'll turn it off. This is going to be auto for your temperature, rear defroster, front defroster, seat heaters. The menu, when you push that, is going to pull it up in here and it just gives you a little bit more control and versatility over your climate controls here. Preconditioning, also known as engine uh, remote start, is available on these models as well and we'll cover that another time. Your max AC button is here, seat heaters again over here. Looking at your radio controls, you'll notice something is missing. That is the CD player. They've taken it out of all of the 2019 and on models. If it's something that's really important to you, it's something that we can install here at the dealership. But mode, just like before, is going to take you through different modes of entertainment from um, AM to FM to satellite. Band is going to be a little bit more specific between AM and FM. This here is how you can skip songs. And then these are still your hot keys, your heat sensitive keys up there. So making our way down the center console, you can see here we have our wireless charging tray, the USB port is here, as well as a 12 volt charger right there. The center console itself has been redesigned. You'll recognize this again from the new X5. So it's got the updated shifter with the parking button here. This is gonna be traction control. This is a front camera. 
show you the front of the vehicle and you can change just a little bit of the features there. This is going to be your backup camera here and this new model has what's now called automatic parking, still the parking assistant, something that we call backup assistant that we'll also cover in another video. So while you're sitting here you can simply tap the car and you can change the area that you want it to show you or if you want to see all around the vehicle you slide this out tap 3d view and it's going to give you another gesture so you're just going to pinch and drag and it's going to show you all around the vehicle so coming back to the center console of course your start and stop button is here your driving modes are here this has all been updated this will look different depending on the model that you purchase. This is just the factory default cover for this one. And in here you'll find a USB-C port that's being integrated on all of the new models as well. So last but not least, we have some updates to the roof itself. The moon roof that you see here is about four inches larger than previous generations. And then these lights up here you'll recognize from the 7 Series and the new X5. It has that little wing design that's mirrored also in the light curtain. The glass that you see here is your gesture controls. That's what is uh, watching for your fingers as you're trying to activate your gesture controls. And finally, it is worth mentioning that these 2019 3 Series will not be available in a wagon, in a diesel, or in a manual gearbox. If you have any questions about this or anything else, please always feel free to stop by or give us a call here at United BMW.